thank you very much. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Just break the ice. Yeah. You know. So everyone, we're driving his RS3 today. And I've driven this car for like 5Ks. And it is the best hatch I've ever driven. Like just straight up. RS3, I realized that now I'm driving this car. Yeah. There's no nonsense. You just want to beat everything. Like, I mean, it's just, true. it's so flat also when you on it because a lot of the people know that I had a CLA 45, yeah. which is kind of the competitor to this car. So true. that car handled really well. <laughs> but I'm driving this car for just a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's a little more fun. You know, let me put it in comfort mode. And comfort. At least we can hear ourselves speak. That's nice. It's yeah. nice to hear yourself. <laughs> so the RS3 has a 2.5 liter turbocharged five cylinder engine. A lot of people call this a baby V10 because it kind of sounds like a V10 actually, especially at the higher revs. Um, this car is not stock though. Yeah. Uh, at the moment I'm running Celtic tuning stage one, just a ECU remap. Running, I think, 328 kilowatts. At the at, flywheel. Yeah, at the okay. flywheel. That's about 430 horsepower. <laughs> yeah. What's the Newton meters on this car? I have no idea. I have no idea as well. I can actually check for you now. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's check Wikipedia. Because <laughs> you know we do all of our research yeah. properly <laughs> before the reviews. That's another thing about Celsius tuning. You just go straight onto the website and it gives you everything. It does? Yeah. Wow. So it's cool, like um, the only thing you just need to enter your model, your car, and after the whole ECU remap, it gives you your gains and what it would be afterwards. So how much did Celtic Tuning pay you to plug in? I mean like this, <laughs> you look like you sponsored by Celtic, man. I know, you're going to start the video off now, like Casey Neistat, I just want to say, not this sponsored, is a, this is not sponsored not by sponsored anyone. anyone. Um, I am not receiving a salary. This uh, they did it at their own yeah, risk. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I love Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat's quite nice. Yeah, lots of talk. I'm gonna assume around 500 Newton meters. Yeah. I think it's around there. Like you said, on this mod right now, 328 kilowatts, about 430, 440 on the um, flywheel. So comfort mode when you put it flat. Oh yes, it makes you smile. It makes you smile a lot. <laughs> I've not driven a stock one. But I can feel as soon as this turbo spools, it's not like just pushes you, it's like like a bomb. Oh, yes. It's really fast, man. <laughs> it's like really fast. And then, okay, manual again, because it's a twisty road. And the thing with four-wheel drive is, you know, no slidey tail nonsense. You just go fast. And um, the brakes are very good. <laughs> Very nice. And the thing is, for a turbocharged car, this car revs really high. Actually, what I've noticed yeah. before the ECU remap, uh -huh. uh, my, my revs were just above 7,000. Yeah, this has the virtual cockpit, yeah, so, so the, it drops the rev limiter. Yeah, Mohamed Yasin was telling me, the guy that's with yeah. Celtic tuning. He says, oh, he's keeping up with us, behind us, goodbye. He says, after he did the ECU remap, like he's saying now, the rev limiter just went down a bit, like now it's sitting at about 71, 7250, a little less than 7250. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Like if you compare it to like an A45, that only revs up to about six and a half. Oh, apes, wow. I'm, I'm not going to overtake right now. Wow, whoa. Yeah, wow, really? Whoa, man, you know, this review I've almost smashed goats, almost smashed apes. You feel that when the turbo kicks in, that must be you. You feel that it's your car. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you this is the first time I've been sitting in the passenger seat? So it feels pretty good. <laughs> oh, wow, now I know what guys tell me when they say your car is fast. <laughs> so I feel special. <laughs> I'm here for your first time. Yeah, you are my first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. The steering on this car is pretty light. Uh, when you put it in dynamic mode, it does stiffen up a little bit, but to be honest, it's so direct. Like the CLA steering, and it, it doesn't come close to the steering. M2 competitions, 
great also but this like it's so it's so direct you know and this guy has an s-tronic gearbox that's a double clutch system that you find in most of the audis with the s-tronics the same system fantastic excellent very quick test out the suspension it's <laughs> not that bad actually. it's actually nice eh? right. it's comfortable as it is. i don't know what other word to use for that yeah it's comfortable <laughs> yeah like you had that a45 that yep. car was hard, hard. that car wow, was very that car. hard it's whoa. like whoa like that CLA also, like, no, <laughs> I, sh I need to buy an automotive, like, pull up, <laughs> put it under, it's so, so, so hard. That's actually a good way. A45 drivers, get your merch here. Yeah, just plug it in. People want merch. Yeah. Well, I want, if I need, if I need new exhausts. Oh, that's, there we go. <laughs> I know uh, exactly where you're going to be getting uh, financing uh, from. <laughs> <laughs> the exterior on this car is beautiful. This is a hatchback to get yeah. the sedan. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the hatch or the sedan? I feel as if, well, I'm a young guy. Really? Yeah, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> so, I really thought about the sedan at one stage. Uh -huh. But then when I saw the looks on the hatch, I, I felt as if there was a connection with, with the that. hatch. Yeah. I agree with you. I like the hatch more. Yeah, so. really. Because, like on the sedan, you can get a normal A3 with the S line Thank package you and it's so got much. the same bumper as this. Like a RS3 you can if it's a hatch you can be like okay. Yeah, this thing screams. This thing screams. I, I like the sedan, it looks yeah. good, but I just feel this kind of hatch is right. Especially after the old sound tuning uh, Yeah, I haven't up. driven it stock. I haven't driven any RS3 stock, so you can probably tell us what a big difference it is. You know, uh, the day I got it back from uh Mohammed Yasin, so he delivered it to my door and uh he jumped into the car and he just, well, he was driving towards me. Whoa. That was close. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> and as he's driving towards my house, he's just like, wow, you're going to love this. So as he was coming in <clears throat> to my house, he's just like, you are going to enjoy this car. I and want. I was like, no, nah, it couldn't have been such a big difference. Mm -hmm. So when I got into the driver's seat and he said, okay, I need you to do me a favor, launch control. As soon as I launched, that's when I knew, oh wow, wow. <laughs> now this is the car. Well, he's behind us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he has an M140i that you can see if you click that video right there. And he wants to race this RS3. Keep in mind, that's rear wheel drive. So, I mean, odds are in this car's favor, but... Weight plays a very big role. Weight plays a big role and it'll be impressive to see how fast that car is. Yeah. So if you're up for it. I'm up for it. <laughs> I think that's the end of this review. Let's see what happens. <laughs>